Yeah. My last play experience was Billy Crystal. I was there for one of opening night for that thing. That was interesting. Good. Exhausting for right, him. Funny. I mean, yeah. I, there's a lot of play. Yeah. A lot of stuff. I loved that. You guys are like peanut butter and jelly together. Uh, the first time <laughs> <laughs> you got first time you guys ever are you peanut butter or jelly? jelly? I don't think I, I'm jelly. <laughs> okay. When you first got together, do you know it worked, or has it been something that's an ongoing progress? Um, I, I, I guess we knew. We well, I mean, we knew that we got along, and and I I I don't think we ever imagined that people would say, oh, this oh, there's a <laughs> chemistry, a magical chemistry going on, but. But we okay. had an easy uh, time to talk from the beginning. I always understood each other's humor and stuff pretty well from the beginning, I recall. Now it's like Martin and Lewis. Uh, <laughs> Except without the fight. booze and broads. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's Martin and Lewis. <laughs> without the broads. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's, well, I don't know if it's Martin and Lewis. That was, that, they they that did was, very well. That was something else. Yes. Um, when you guys go, like in the movie, though, you've done the, the material so many times. Is it like going from a tennis court to a football field, in a way? Are you still, and plus you can't play for the laughs. I know when you do a line, you kind of wait, or you have to wait till people shut up. You can't just keep going. It has to be a little bit different drill. Yes. Yeah, you have to, you, uh, you know, that was probably the, the, the biggest uh, thing we <laughs> were aware of is that, you know, we were so used to an audience kind of driving the play in yeah. that sense yeah. and, and just uh, really going back to basics and you just doing the scene. And I mean, certainly knowing, understanding the rhythms of the scene and what the scene was about, but, uh, uh, and just, you know, going back to what, well, what is it, what's going on here, what do I want? And you guys effortlessly go between film and theater. Not everybody can do that. You have to play big for the last row. In the in the theater hall, and then in the movie, you know, you're really playing small. Is that a little bit? You have to remind yourself what you're doing sometimes, or you just do it. Well, you know, I mean, it's something you're aware of, but it it um, and and it, but in this case, you know, there. I mean, yes, there are things that that you they can just throw away in a, in a movie, and and you know, it's just it's much more intimate. But but in this case, sometimes the material demands a, a certain amount of size and uh, you know, operatic. Um, feeling behind it, so you you have to f fulfill that too. You know, you can't suddenly, you know, make it, uh, you know, um, smaller than it should be. I mean, what's it, the best thing about Nathan? The best thing mm -hmm. about him? Oh well, you know, he has a lot of very good qualities. <laughs> Does he have any bad qualities? Do you get on your nerves about anything? <laughs> Not really. Good. No, we really, uh, really, no. He, he's, he's a perfect man. Pretty well. Much. I don't know. No, he's, <laughs> no, he's hilarious. He's yeah. one of the best actors probably alive. I've never, I don't know if you, I hope you take this right. I've always thought that you were kind of like a Jackie Gleason in a lot of ways. You had a lot of the qualities, great qualities that man had, who had a lot of great qualities. Do you ever see anything Gleason esque in you? Oh, God, yes. Or did you ever try? Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, he was uh, certainly a, a, a hero to me, as is Matthew. And um, and uh, you know it, certainly it was a huge influence of, uh, when I was a kid. I mean we uh, I watched the honeymooners and and uh, yeah I mean the thing of the great thing about Gleason was you know as funny as he was and uh, was was that he was also a wonderful serious actor mm -hmm. and there was a great you know there was a great deal of sadness in him as well and and I think that you people saw that in in his eyes you know and. Uh, I think that's why they were drawn to him. He was, he was wildly funny and outrageous. But you were there was something very uh, um, sad about him. Well, you guys are great. This was a lot of fun. It's, it's actually one I'd like to see again. It does lend itself to multiple viewings. Oh, yeah. great! And uh, just I can't wait to go back. Thank yeah. you. All right, thank you. It is. It really does lend itself to.